Holy Capricorns, welcome, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of July 12th to July 18th. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides of the Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Capricorns for the period of July 12th to July 18th? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to divine through your messages? Any messages you have would be greatly appreciated and we thank you. Can you please show me general energies for Capricorns? for the week of July 12th. We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your weekly extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there specifically. Challenge position, we have the King of Cups in the reverse. In my playlist, 2021 Sun Moon, pre sun, moon Predictions, right? 2021 Sun Moon Readings Predictions. <laughs> I'm working on my 20... 2022s this month so be sure to post your requests up in the comments in the advice position we have the queen of swords in the reversed also my playlist what is your ideal career based on your midheaven what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign ask me a question on instant go check me out on facebook instagram and tiktok on tiktok i upload different weekly so you can go check those out for a bonus weekly if you'd like to do that let's get to your reading um capricorn's bad week what's going on um i i heard i i don't know what the exact phrase was but when i turned over the turned over the ten of cups i heard the phrase um like like dream disappeared dream fading away dream like something in regards to a dream that you had in regards to something and and or dream upended or i don't know you had a specific I, idea in your head in regards to a situation um i feel like it was with another person i do feel like this could be a, a romantic reading a love reading of some sort but I feel as though this was your person. This is the person that you saw a future with. This was the person that you saw building with. Um, this is the person you wanted the kids, the white picket fence, um, you know, everything. Your emotions were entirely invested in this person. Now, but since the Ten of Cups is in reverse, I feel like that dream went away. It all kind of, um, you know, fell apart for whatever reason. I. I think it's due to the other person. I don't really feel like it was due to you. Um, well, I can't really say that because we're both contributing factors into it. Um, I just feel like you're really surprised by this. I feel like it was on track for some period of time. Does that make sense? I, I almost feel like you were like things were going along, everything seemed fine, and then all of a sudden it just came to a dead stop. It upturned, things change all of a sudden, and you're just kind of like, wait, what happened? Um, and things are just radically different right now between you and this person. And I, I feel like you're just trying to make sense of it is what you're trying to get. Um, the challenge is this person. I see this person as the King of Cups in reverse. They, they, they're, they've, they've done a 180 in regards to their emotions. They've radically changed. Um, it's, they have really negative emotions that dominate them right now. I, I feel like it goes from one emotion to the next to the other. You don't know what to expect from them. Um, I feel like this person too, they don't deal with emotions very well. So when they do have emotions bubbling up to the surface, they deal with them in negative ways, anger, frustration, um, withdrawal, like anything like that, rather than dealing with them. Um, some, some of them might actually turn to alcohol, turn to drugs, find ways of escaping. But I feel as though um, this person has just become very very emotional very negative way they're just having a really hard time corralling their emotions and i feel like you're getting some of the shrapnel of it also um we have the queen of swords here in reversed i'm almost hesitant to kind of speak on this i'll tell you what my initial thoughts are i i think that what they're saying is that yes it was clear as day at one time you saw the bigger picture you kind of thought how things were going to go everything was in place there was auth authenticity um and and now it's not that now there's just a lot of confusion and like you don't know what happened this queen of swords is pointing back to this king of cups we have a couple here and they're both in reversed so i mean the queen of cups is pointing to this king of cups almost like you know what's going on here you know what just happened um i but i am going to kind of wait on that i i I'm getting this sense that maybe because the Queen of Swords in reverse is, is you know, mental, 
all the swords are mental, but I get with the court cards, it's it's when the, the mental stuff turns negative. Um, so it might have been you choosing to process how this person was in a different way rather than seeing the truth. Um, but again, I'll wait for clarifiers. So I don't see the situation improving as you move out of this week. We have the honeymoon card in the reverse. So the four of wands in reverse suggests that the energies between you and this person is going to be very tense, very unstable. You aren't going to be welcome around them. They're not going to make you feel welcome. You're going to feel uneasy, uncomfortable. There's just, you know, awkward. It's not going to be really good energies. It's not going to be anything conducive in regards to, um, you know, getting this on the right track. Now, I will say that in regards to love this could be a connection it doesn't have to be romantic this could be friend this could be family this could even be a colleague anybody that you had a love for or a connection with someone that you cared for just things are radically different this week i feel like you don't really know what to do with this i mean you all are people of plans and actions and goals and and something like this just kind of throws you throws you off like what do i do with this what am i supposed to do it's so off kilter you don't even know where to start um, sometimes you doing nothing is the best solution. Why is the, why are these cards before me for Capricorn starting with the Ten of Cups? Who are these people? What are these energies? Additional messages for Capricorn starting with the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. So, I mean, we have the two of cups here in reverse. This is somebody who you really connected with like no other. This was your person, twin flame, soulmate, the one, whatever labels you prescribe to, as I often say. I mean, this was it. There was you. This was your person. You guys saw eye to eye. This person got you like nobody else. You told this person things that you didn't, you never told other people. You felt open, vulnerable around them. And now you're just like, what the hell happened? You know, what the hell happened and how did it happen? Why is the King of Cups here in reverse in the challenge position? The world card. Again, the challenge is you're not getting the answers from this person. The closure. You don't know what happened. There's pieces missing. You're just sitting here with all these pieces trying to put them together, trying to come up with your own answers. Often when the world card comes up in reverse, I tell people, you have to cre create your own closure. Um, you can't get it from this person. This person is so emotionally off the Richter, you're not going to be able to get anything from them. So it's your responsibility to create your own closure and move on from this person. Um, why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse and advice for... Okay, I think you're going to... They're telling you to get your truth from this person. I feel like you're holding off from... So you're very confused. I, they know you're confused. You're not seeing... This person is not showing you the truth. Um... I, there's a hesitation for you to demand the truth from them. That's what I'm getting from the Queen of Swords. Because the Queen of Swords in the upright is like, tell me what's going on here. I want to know. I don't have time for this crap. In the reverse, there's a hesitancy. Not wanting to do that because you don't want to hear things. Or you don't want to hear the lies or what have you. Or you don't want to be more confused. And that's what I'm getting from advice. They're saying that you're holding back from getting the truth. But they're telling you with the Knight of Swords to go in and demand your truth from this person. Be very forthright. Be very blunt blunt and be like what is going on right now I really don't have to I'd rather have the truth and I'd rather have it laid out for me than than you being like this because I can't deal with this I'm a very practical person of practical means you have to give me something to work with here I work with concrete solid um, this stuff just is not working out for me so you know let me know what's kind of going on why is this four of wands here in the reverse as Capricorns move out Okay, we have the Knight of Wands here in the upright. Now, this is this person, isn't it? This is this is what this person does. This is like their thing. So what they do is they create like all this instability and all this drama and all this stuff going on and emotional games and negative emotions and this and that. You try to pin them down. They don't give you any answers. They make it very uncomfortable. And then boom, out of nowhere, we get the Knight of Wands. All of a sudden, this person pops up. And when they want things um, or they want something from you, they contact you. A very passionate, very fiery, very sexual chemistry they're like hey what's up you want to hang out let's and they'll act like nothing happened it's almost like um 
you know, their, their memory just like, they don't know, they, like nothing happened. Um, if you, if you try to confront them with it, they'll be like, what are you talking about? I wasn't like that. Um, they, they might do that or they might not even want to talk about it at all. They're just gonna, they're gonna want to have an adventure with you and they aren't gonna want to get into kind of what happened here. So, I mean, you can deal with that however you'd like to. To me, it seems like it's a cycle with this person, not a very healthy cycle. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have for you. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below. It will have your love, career, finances, and health in there specifically in my playlist. 2021 Sun Moon Predictions 2022s are coming out this month. Post up your requests in the comments. Also in there, what is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I also upload different weeklies on TikTok so you can get a bonus if you go check those out like share subscribe and or donate otherwise i will see you in the vimeo adios capricorns bye